Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Chip Builder Series, where we get to talk to those who are shaping the future of AI and technology. So excited to bring one of our own onto the screen today, Joey Akisap, who is our assistant that helps everything run, the head of operations based in the Philippines. Joey, welcome to the show. Hi, Scott. Glad to be here. It is great to have you, and thanks, as always, for staying up all night. Uh, I think this is going to be a fascinating conversation because, you know, People talk about AI replacing jobs. What I'm finding is it's changing how tasks are done. So tell us a little bit about what you do at Chip and how you're using AI. Oh, first of all, I am a virtual assistant for Chip. I mostly help with Scott's personal stuff and also running Chip. So more on the marketing side where I produce content like blogs, videos, and everything that Scott literally throws at me, I make it work. <laughs> So basically that's my job and whatever comes my way, like learning new tools, I do it all for Chip. That's amazing. Well, one of the things we've done is created chips for you to use, like the Scott bot. So tell us a little bit about how practically you use an AI tool that I can throw at you. Well, mainly the tools that I use for Scott are for marketing. So we use those prompts to create content that is high quality. And we can churn out more content in a way that it still connects with the audience, but still you get more time for yourself because you just put in your prompts and context and you get good quality content from that. Yeah, that's amazing. Well, you keep us running and keep everything fresh. So I can record videos and throw them at you. But what uh, surprised you? Because before you hadn't used AI, uh, at, at least, uh, you know, not chip for sure. So what kind of surprised you as you started using it? I didn't know before that you could train AI. I know of ChatGPT and all other AI tools, but I wasn't aware that you could like train it to do a specific thing for a specific task. For example, you can create a custom GPT to create presentations or keynote speaker highlights or something like that. So it was like enlightenment for me because it makes your job easier basically because you can create a tool that is specific for your job and that gives you more time to a lot to learning and other things, especially like for content, it takes a lot of time, just like the conceptualization and like when you write it, when you create it, it takes a lot of your mental energy as well. So I think that is the big pain point that it's solving your time and your mental energy. You get to save it. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's amazing. So, you know, people are worried about AI replacing jobs. And I think virtual assistants would be a job that people say, oh, maybe AI will replace it. So I'm curious, since you're working in this space and now using AI as a part of your work, how do you kind of see the future of being a VA working alongside? Uh, at, at first, I was actually kind of scared because like there are a lot of things you could automate and like, oh, if they can automate this and what is in it for you? So it kind of pushes you to level up or upskill. And the VA role is going to evolve in the future in which like you should be able to use AI tools to accomplish tasks. It's going to be one of the requirements because of mass adoption, basically. So I think that's where it's going. So if you continue to learn with AI and not really see it as an enemy, then you can evolve your skills and also your role as a VA and kind of go from there. So... For people who are looking to do that, if some if another VA is watching this, how would you recommend that they get started or how could they kind of dip their toe in the water? Well, it's nice to start with ChatGPT because everyone knows about ChatGPT and there are a lot of content that teaches you about ChatGPT and how to use it in a productive way. So maybe just trying out how to create prompts that are going to give you the results that you want, like experimentation, because that's where it really starts. I think there's a lot to learn about AI and prompting because the entire thing is broad and you have to be like specific. So you get from like being broad to specific to your job description that will get you more and more better at using AI, something like that. Yeah, no, that's amazing. So what are you most excited about for the coming month? Uh, I'm excited about adding new features and trying it out because I usually test them. We know like there's a lot of new changes to the app itself, but I know there's going to be more changes in the future. I'm excited about how Chip as a product can be much bigger, much better. So I want to be there in the process of figuring it out and making it a better product. That's amazing. Well, 
Joey and I are experimenting with how AI can help virtual assistants. So if anybody's watching and works as a virtual assistant and wants to try it out, you can head over to chip.ai, that's chipp.ai, or reach out. We would love to hear your ideas. And like Joey said, I think the future of being an assistant is not going away. It's going to be supercharged. So you can write more, you can create uh, emails that are more personalized, you can avoid spelling and grammar mistakes, you can really improve the quality and the personalized tone with a little bit of technology. So thanks for doing that for us, Joey. You definitely make me look good. And now everyone knows the secret, uh, the combination of great talent plus a little technology uh, goes a long way. So thanks for joining and I'll probably talk to you in a few minutes. <laughs> okay, bye. Thank you.